Unsung Heroes, the story of America's female patriots continues. It's imperative that our American community see the true experience of what our women are going through and what they are accomplishing every day. Period, end of story. It's doing a disservice to not show that. We serve honorably by the sides of our brothers every day, just like they do. So does our American society need to hear these stories? Absolutely. November 12th of 2004 was a really good day for me. Uh, I, I woke up early, I was gonna get to fly an entire day's worth of missions with one of my favorite pilots to fly with, Chief Warrant Officer Dan Milberg. So we had a great day. We flew north, we flew south, we flew all over the Baghdad area. And then uh, we were getting ready to go home when uh, a call came in and said, hey, can you divert to this other airfield and pick up some passengers? And uh, on the way back from, um, from that diversion to our flight route was when we were hit. We basically flew into an ambush. And that's when the giant fireball landed in my lap and I was hit by uh, an RPG. Um, it basically vaporized my right leg. Uh, yeah. My left leg was kicked up into the instrument panel of the aircraft and was sheared off, and it blew off most of the, my right arm. At the time, I didn't know that I was injured. I think what happened was I would black out and wake up, and then I would try to fly. I'd black out, wake up, and try to fly, just seconds at a time. Dan Milberg, my, my good friend, is the real hero in all of this. He actually landed the aircraft and then carried me to safety. When I was waking up in the hospital at Walter Reed about 11 days later, I kept hearing doctors and nurses talk about a helicopter accident. And to a pilot, an accident and, and an enemy attack and a forced landing are two very different things. So I thought that I'd crashed the aircraft. And at this point, as I was waking up, my husband had already told me I'd lost my legs and had already told me that some of my crew members had been hurt and that my crew chief, uh, Sergeant Fierce, was hurt and almost lost his leg. And so the emotional toll came then when I thought it was my fault, that I hadn't done my job and, and um, that I was a failure as an officer, as a soldier, as a pilot. And I saw Sergeant Fierce as we were going into uh, surgery. I looked at him and I just started crying. I said, I'm sorry, I hurt you. I didn't do my job. I'm a crappy pilot. I'm so sorry. And he's like, what are you talking about? You and Dan did everything you could to land the aircraft. We're alive because you guys kept doing your jobs. And I've been fine ever since. Have you written a book and want it published? Thousands of authors have with Page Publishing. If we decide to publish you, your work ends and ours begins. Call for your free author submission kit. Boy, that looks expensive. Not my problem. Not my problem. <laughs> Not my problem. Hi, George Foreman and family here. And like millions of homeowners, we got tired of getting sucker punched with expensive home system and appliance repair fees. But not anymore. Because now for about a dollar a day, we have Choice Home Warranty. They cover over 25 major systems and appliances, including heating, AC, plumbing, kitchen, and laundry. And if they can't fix it, they'll replace it. We'll never pay for covered home repairs again. For about a dollar a day, get Choice Home Warranty. Call now and get your first month free. Why risk paying thousands of dollars for expensive repair bills when for about a dollar a day, Choice Home Warranty has an army of expert technicians. So having a Choice Home Warranty is very much like having a security blanket on all the appliances in our home. I don't worry because I know once I call them, they'll get the job done. Only Choice Home Warranty has the heavyweight protection plan that assures you'll never pay for covered breakdowns again. With Choice Home Warranty, I save thousands of dollars and zero headaches. I can make one painless phone call and they're not gonna take advantage of me. So when your water heater, fridge, washing machine, throw in the 
towel. Don't let fixing it be your problem. Call Choice Home Warranty before they break down. For about a dollar a day. If Choice Home Warranty can't fix it, they'll replace it. Never pay for covered home repairs again. Call right now for your free quote and we'll include your first month free. Call in the next 10 minutes and as a special gift from George, get free limited roof repair coverage. Never pay for covered home repair bills again. Remember, if we can't fix it, we'll replace it. Call now to get a free quote and your first month free. Call in the next 10 minutes and get free limited roof repair coverage. Call 800-279-8463. 800-279-8463. Unsung Heroes, the story of America's female patriots continues. It's not a secret to anyone that serving in the military comes with some challenges. And today we hear an awful lot about some of those challenges. When I think about the men and women that served in World War I, World War II, the Korean War, even the Vietnam War, they came back and for the most part, they got about the business of life. And they didn't really talk about their experiences. And I can remember personally as an air traffic controller, you know, if you talked about having a mental health issue, oh my goodness, you couldn't go seek help because that was going to be the end of your career. I don't know of anybody who can go through these extraordinary stressful experiences without having some level of PTSD. Do I have it? Yes, I have it. I know a lot of people with it. It's what you do about it and how you cope with it in your life so that it doesn't affect and hurt other people. When you're in a situation and you have to think about being blown up or killed, it's very upsetting. And they'll tell you, you know, once they see this, it's always in their mind. And there's all kind of therapists to try to help people work through that. But it is still a challenge though. Women are entering into homelessness faster than men are. Uh, part of it is because once they get out of the military where they got equal pay for equal work and they come back into the civilian population, women now make 70 cents on the dollar. So the female veteran's income automatically drops by 30% below a male veteran's income. And so what happens is when women enter into homelessness, they tend to bring uh, children into homelessness with them. The, this is compounded by the fact that not a lot of shelters out there accept women and children. And then if the women have post-traumatic stress or if they started substance abuse or self-medicating, now they have a choice that they have to make. Do I enter a treatment program and get clean and get off the streets or do I stay on the streets with my kids? So now they're faced with, I know I need to get help, but I can't get help because if I try to get help, they'll take my kids away. And it's this vicious cycle. When I was in Iraq, I volunteered to go to a camp called War Eagle. And one night when I was closing up the dining facility, the local nationals were outside having tea. And we were always taught that if the Iraqis offer you tea or chai, you take it, don't be rude, just take it. So I took the cup of tea and I just started feeling like I was, you know, drugged and weird. And as I began to walk away to try and get away, he um, clotheslined me. And when I fell to the ground, I kind of blacked out. And as I came to, I had this man on top of me. And I remember hitting him and fighting him, and I guess he got scared, and he got up and, and he ran away. It was like I was numb inside. At the time, I didn't want to cry, because I was just numb. I was just like, I don't believe this is happening. Did this really happen? And I walked in the room, and I told my roommate what happened, and she brought me to see my commander, and they sent out the search party, and they went and they got these guys. 
But I was in a real bad depression to where I felt like I didn't want to live anymore. So I tried to commit suicide. I just took all of my medicine and I cut my wrist and I laid down and my battle buddy found me. I really don't remember much. Um, I, I believe I, I almost died that night. But when I woke up, I woke up in Germany. And from there, I ended up at Walter Reed. The mental health hotline is something I'm very proud of. It's a 24-hour chat room that you can access, even from the theater. So the VA has actually intervened in suicides in progress in theater because the, the soldier or Marine was actually on the chat room at that moment and got the help that he or she needed. We have a new generation of veterans coming out of this war. And now we have an obligation to take care of those veterans, men and women. And it's more than taking them on a golf trip. It's helping them get a, a quality of life job that allows them to have a quality of life equal to their quality of service. Oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord.